Hello everybody, welcome to hole number 8, a part 4 of the Phantom Mansion of the Phantom Mansion tournament, also a hole on tour number 4, the 6 Star Hotel. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. and before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also visit golfclashtommy.com for more Golf Clash related content for free. Last but not least, get the best guides on the market by going to patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, link directly in the description down below. Here you will see my opponents drive and second shot from the left and then I will complete it by showing my own second shot from the right and here it's all about what you feel comfortable with because the second shot is going to be elevated a lot and it's going to be a difficult one to uh, to get in a correct way but there is good parts with both side first we start in this case with two bars of top spin and then as much side spin to the right possible half a ball of curl stay away from the overpower maximum distance plus 25 is what i judge uh, the adjustment should have been on this shot here in the end though we're not looking to get the ball what can i say uh, rolling to the rough obviously but uh, we can push the drive a little bit harder by using more curl we can also use a ball with more side spin like the katana and then we can also go with a power three ball if so tough drive though and if you uh, you know to just talk about the right side drive the right side drive needs a power three ball to bounce on the fairway directly and then we roll over to the final fairway to sit nicely for a wedge shot which i'm gonna show in a bit now second shot, disregard the result here, I just wanted to show this video from our opponent to display the way that the shot is going to be. In my opinion, you should be playing this one at 30% over adjustment here. It's a very, very downhill play, but obviously it all depends on how far you go with the drive. The further you're going with the drive down the hill, you can see that it slopes there, the further down you're getting, the less elevation you need to go. So you do, know, you do need to adapt based on how you do your drive. And here it would be good to go with one to three bars of backspin, aim for the hole and then just get in the hole, at least that is the plan. So let's take a look at how it seems, you know, the second shot from the right, and that is with a wedge. And as you see here, this is also a very elevated shot and you need to adjust a lot for the wind here. There is an interesting rough bump here in my opinion, but requires a lot of topspin. A rapier here would actually be good. Then a crosswind could be a little bit easier by going for a rough bump. So here I aim for the pin. I go with a medium distance plus 30 in terms of adjustment. And then I, you know, as you see, I will adjust and then I'm going to take my shot. In the end though, right side is, in my opinion, the one that I would favor. And the reason for that is that we can get a, a drive more easily up and get a short iron or in that case, a wedge towards the pin. The rough bump is also there, which will be tricky, but it's there. And left side, I would say that is the way to play if you just want, don't want to take any sort of risk and just gonna have a, a safe way to get the birdie. Video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Play Demic. A massive thank you for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.